Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa, and I am a master esthetician. So at the start of the pandemic, I started getting a lot of texts and calls and messages kind of asking me a little bit about home devices. So I thought I'd jump on here and make my first official video for you guys to talk about home devices. Now the spas have started opening up again and chances are you can probably book an appointment with your esthetician or dermatologist or whomever you typically see at this point. But I know for those of us who have not received the vaccine yet, um, we're still wanting to kind of stay at home and treat ourselves as much as possible. So I thought I'd make this video and hopefully help <laughs> some of you guys who are interested in that. So there are a ton of little gadgets out there on the market um, and many of them claim to be able to do skin tightening and lifting and things like that. Uh, but there's a lot of gimmicky ones on the market that actually do little to nothing. So um, I'm hoping to save you all some money <laughs> with the time and research I put into finding something that works and hopefully you'll find this helpful. So there are a lot of things that you can do that do help with toning and tightening the skin, but I would probably say radio frequency is one of, if not the most popular one. Uh, and what that is, radio frequency skin tightening is, is a device that emits energy <laughs> in the form of electromagnetic waves. And what these waves do is they create heat in the dermis. This will denature the existing damaged collagen and then initiate a collagen remodeling process so that you get that new collagen to the skin. You get that plumping and tightening and more youthful looking skin. It helps to diminish fine lines and wrinkles and it helps to kind of refine and tone this, this area, my, my uh, trouble area now that I'm in my 40s. So that is uh, kind of what we're all looking for probably. <laughs> So after several weeks of research, I did de decide on the NUA device. The reason being is that this device is made by a larger company known as IndyMed. And IndyMed makes the radio frequency skin tightening devices that you typically see at a dermatologist's office. So out of all the devices out there, NUA boasts the most clinical validation that I was able to find. Uh, there were 40 independent studies from doctors around the world proving its efficacy and safety, which I think is a big deal. A lot of these devices that you're getting show up in a random box with very vague instructions. There's no studies, there's no research on it. They'll speak to the theory of radio frequency, but they don't have their own studies. So I really like that about IndyMed and the NUA device. One of their studies actually showed with a three month treatment plan, it could build back an average of 3.8% of the collagen in the skin. This would be the equivalent of turning back the clock four years, which is pretty huge. When you get your device, this information is really easily found here in their little thank you letter. Their instructions are very clear. I recommend reading through with any device and making sure that you're not contraindicated to using it. Um, you can actually look this up before you order the device so you don't end up ordering something that you can't use. And they have a quick start guide here. There are six zones that, that are FDA approved to uh, treat on the face with the new device. Each one of these zones, you are going to be treating for four minutes at a time. So it's a total of 24 minutes for the whole face. Now for me, I'm really just super focused on the lower half of my face. I did take some before photos and I will share them on my Instagram page at Brassfield Beauty. So what I do is I use their app that you can download onto your smartphone. And then you just pick if you want to do a three time a week, 
uh, a regimen or a five time a week regimen and you do that for the first four weeks and then you're going to move down to just twice a week for maintenance mode so it's pretty simple to do you just need to actually do, do it and stick to it otherwise you're not going to get those results that you want right so i opted for their classic device which i have right here which is the plug-in version sorry about that I put it in my lap before I started filming. So it is a plug-in version. So you plug it in, make sure your skin is clean and dry. You apply a stripe of their gel. And I love this gel for sensitive skin. It's very non-irritating. And once you have the gel on there, you go ahead and press the button and you're going to see a blue light and it's going to be flashing and you are going to use consistent circular motions back and forth in the treatment zone until the light turns green. And what that means when the light turns green is that your device has come to temperature. When it's done treating that area for four minutes, the device will then vibrate. So then you wipe off your device you apply more gel and then you move to the next treatment zone and it's the same thing. It'll start off with a blue flashing light and then the temperature will come up and it'll stay green until it again vibrates, signaling that you're done with that treatment zone. So you just move through the face. Once you've done that first starting point, this takes the longest, I feel like, to heat up and come to temperature. But after that, the rest of the face just heats up much quicker. So once I'm done, I clean my face off again and I go in with my favorite vitamin C serum by Lucerne, which is great if you're trying to build collagen and brighten up the skin. I use this one every day. It's their 15% vitamin C serum. It comes in a huge two ounce bottle, lasts forever. And then I go in with their moisturizer, which has more vitamin C in it. And I apply that on top. And then I use my favorite sunscreen by Elta MD. Everything that you do anti-aging, you're gonna pretty much throw out the window if you are not taking the time to use your sunscreen, apply and reapply throughout the day. So that is my new regimen. It's pretty easy. Um, again, I will be posting my before and afters when I reach the 12 week period. I am only on week three, I think so far. I could check in the device. I think I am on week three. It kind of lets you know, good job. You're on your way to achieving tighter, younger skin. And then it'll tell you how much collagen that you've built up so far. I'm at 1.12%. So I guess I've gone back a little over a year in my collagen. Um, I can see a little difference so far. The collagen remodeling process does require a little bit of patience. It does take time to build that collagen up in the skin. But there are ingredients and things that you can use in conjunction with this that help facilitate that. So I mentioned vitamin C, a gentle retinol at night is great. They don't want you using something super aggressive, which totally makes sense because you are using a heat device. And if you're using super aggressive products with that, the sensitivity and the heat just are not a good mix. So this is a very gentle retinol that I use by Lucerne. It does not cause irritation or peeling to the skin. So it has not been a problem for me to use this in conjunction with the NUA device. Um, but again, those are just things to think about. Other ingredients that are fabulous for skin tightening are like your peptides, um, I like elastin peptides a whole lot. Dermalogica just came out with a great uh, neck toning peptide type treatment. So there are a lot of things on the market that you can do your research on and figure out what works best for your individual skin. What works for me might not <laughs> necessarily work for you, but I do like to mention these things as, you know, potential 
products that you can try if uh, you decide that they're a good fit for you. I do have a discount code for the NUA device if you're interested in ordering it. And I also have discount codes for two different websites to get either the Lucerne, 15% off the Lucerne products, uh, and also uh, with Darren to Door, I have a discount code to get the L to MD sunscreen that I use every day if you're interested. So I hope you found this video helpful. And I, uh, if you end up trying the new one, I wanna hear about it. So let me know in the comments below if you end up trying it. And yeah, I hope you'll follow my progress. I, uh, I'm excited to report back. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.